Okay, I don't know where this is going to fit into the video that I intend to make, but this portion is being recorded August 8th. So this is the, the day of the, the big patch and everything. But this is all for, it's not even related to the patch, it's all for, for the rant. If you're here, you, you, know, you know what this rant's already about. But this is just to show you, I just finished, I've completed all of the, the current challenges up to this point. So my team currently, right now, is as good as you can make your team. Well, as good as your team's naturally gonna be gonna be set to off of doing all the initial challenges outside of me doing um what's inside here in the orientation objectives, the 201. So I haven't played these games or nothing like that yet, because that that'll definitely make me better, of course, playing head to head, like my team better. But this is me not playing anything besides these challenges currently and this is the level that my team's got into which you see it in the top right corner when i'm going to the team anyway you're gonna see it my team's rated wait hold on let me back out went too quick team's rated an 80 overall 70 79 on defense 81 yeah 81 on defense 79 on offense 80 overall total but here's the thing like you see those great cars there let me go back. I'm, I'm trying to move too fast. My bad. But you see those cars there. And you see, yeah, 87 middle linebacker with Bradley Chubb. 87 right end with Kayvon Thibodeau. 84 wide receivers. Yeah. And the Malik neighbors, he's only that good for me doing the challenges. But when we actually go into my team, you see how, like, not good my team is. And also, this comes from packs and stuff. I'll have to go back to the lot. To the live event screen so these are some of the packs from because also through doing the challenges you know i love it up on the field pass that that's the season battle pass whatever what have you they want to call it but yeah this is basically being halfway through it already because this goes up to level 51 so yeah i'm basically halfway through without even playing a single game online or what have you or anything else this is all just pure just playing in the game and stuff so well, playing in the game and also getting, because in here, in this area, you're going to get your daily, your daily player, which costs you like 500 coins, I can't remember. So like a daily player, you just get one, anyone, it's, it's the cheapest way you'll ever be able to get a player in the game to add to your roster. But this is me, because you can see the points up there. I haven't bought anything. And you can see here, this is the deluxe edition pack. So for, this is the stuff I, get, I got from paying 100 extra dollars. And this is also still like with the rest of this video, it's not to encourage you to play this mode. I discourage anyone from playing this mode because it's very, very, very um, intensive. Actually, while I'm doing, while I'm talking, I'm going to pull up, uh, well, it's called Mutt GG or what have you. They made a college football one, which I think is like CFB.fan or what have you. But it's this is all because I'm, I'm going to overlay it and hopefully better than my last right video because things got very mixed up but you can see this team even though this is 80 overall you think yeah it's overall good for like playing dynasty that is not good for ultimate team trust me ultimate team is a very very exploitative mode like which is why i'm trying to encourage this video is being made to encourage you not to play this mode at all and so as you can see my team on the surface, 80 over, you're like, oh, that's decent. But it's like, no, you're, you need to get your team as high as possible immediately because everybody's going to come in, come in with the best players. Like, the players people are going to come in with, and I'm going to just basically go through this. Well, I'm not going to go position by position, but maybe I should. So you guys can just see. Like, this is Pat, Pat White's and 80 overall, my starting QB. The best QB in the game currently is Tim Tebow, and he takes a lot to get to. When I say takes a lot to get to, I mean it's it's a lot. It's, it's a lot to get to to get Tim Tebow. And then just going position by position, let me see. My halfback, this is – well, yeah, they, they don't even make the screen as accessible as it should. I have Jeremiah Love. Jeremiah Love, I don't know if you can 
this is a lot just to like see the card so you can compare it but yeah that's jeremiah love with ryan roche behind him so you see okay yeah he has a 70 78 running back well like i said with pat white pat white is like an 80 overall that's not even like top 20 for for quarterbacks and then he's being backed up by by billy edwards jr out of maryland 73 overall so you're seeing right now, you, you may think on the surface, like, oh, this is a good team. But it's like, no, this is not a good team at all. This is a very, very, very awful thing going on. And, like, that's the whole, this is how they're exploiting the whole mode. Like, you can see my wide receivers, 84s, but the 84s on these wideouts isn't anything notable. Because right now, they're, they're, I guess you could say this is like the second level wide receivers. There's a bunch of 85s and 86s, 87s, and 90s. So wide receivers, maybe a little bit of leeway in this position, but not great. But then you get into this O-line. O-line. Well, let me even go to fullback. Fullback. Let me see the screen I'll put up here. Fullback. That's the same I'm He's 10 points off the best player who's currently out there. 10 points off. It's not even close. Not even close. So I'm just going through this and I'm scrolling through this. And let me see what else. Tight end. Yeah. Yeah, my tight end. You saw that. You see the 80, but immediately behind it is a 67. So I can't even get two good tight ends. So I, if I'm running two tight end sets, it's a it's a wrap for me. Like, it's, it's not going to be a good day. It's not going to be a good day. So all this mode is about is like trying to take everything you have have and like the core of this video, because I'm recording this before I record the rest of this, but I know the core of this video, I'm going to be talking about how basically through all the other screens I've seen, basically it seems like they're trying to set things up to convert people who wanted to have this game, who, who like this game, to get ready to move over to Madden, to get ultimate team into you guys' hands to get you started thinking. Because the biggest thing I will say about this mode and just in general about ultimate team is the thing that makes ultimate team so awful and makes us all hate it is the fact that for the biggest portion of it is it's it's the fact that this is the only way you can access older players in the game so like pat white Pat White, the, on, the only way I have access to Pat White, especially if you guys are from the mid-2000s there, you know how integral Pat White was to West Virginia being a major player. Like, if Pat White, Steve Slayton, and some of you may even point out Pat McAfee, he was there during this time as well, and their head coach is Rich Rodriguez. They were so integral. Like, they are the only reason that West Virginia is in the Big 12. Because the team they put together that really missed out on a natty opportunity because of the backyard bowl and losing the pit in a very dramatic fashion. Like, that's how great he is. And I'm pretty sure there are people who haven't played the old NCAA game who's only played these old N- NCAA games and, like, once those are gone, they stop playing. And you come back and like, holy shit, if you were any kind of West Virginia fan which just live in the area, you live in West Virginia, Western Virginia, Southeast Ohio, Southern Pennsylvania or what have you, you probably think, oh shit, I'd like to play with Pat White, but the only way you can play with Pat White is an ultimate team. And it's the same thing in Madden Ultimate Team, is that all the players from the past, all the greats, the only way you can play with them are playing with them through um through Ultimate Team. And like Bradley Chubb came on to me. let me actually go to my defense. So you can see my other players who are in here who you would consider recent players, like I have Max Crosby. This is Max Crosby here. Yeah, that's Max Crosby at right end. But what I got him playing linebacker. Well, I said the total generate best team, so it's it's doing what it does. But yeah, that's Max Crosby, Kayvon Thibodeau, Kobe Bryant. Like you have players here, Booger McFarland. Like, yeah, literally. This is Booger McFarlane, the old ESPN Monday Night Football guy, football commentator, 
people find him hilarious. Yeah, that's Booger McFarlane. He's one of the legends of the game. But the only way you can play a Booger McFarlane is literally in this game mode. There is no other way to interact with players who formerly played except this game mode. And they have full-on models. So I'm going to practice mode to show you, like, there, there will be a full-on model of Bradley, Bradley Chubb, Max Crosby. And they will look exactly like how they either look in Madden or what you would compare to real life. Because I, w- I would say look in Madden, but Pat White's obviously not a Madden. That man's retired for too long. So you're going to see, like, oh, these aren't generic player models. It's like, no, 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 no. This is exactly who the name says it is. And wait, let me hold on the screen for a little bit so I can put up, because I'm going to be putting up comparisons for positions. So let me actually go through my defense, defensive line. My defensive line is okay at right end. Not too bad at left end, maybe, but when you go in and see, like, I haven't even played my first game online yet, you're going to see there's going to be teams that are stacked to the gills that are already, like, my third cornerback is a 71. I know I can't go and play online with him. I mean, I have 100 in coins, but the real way you get the best players is through packs. Because I know I can't go and play online with these defensive corners, but one's a 71, another one's a 70. Going to get cooked. D-line, possibly get some push, but I know I'm going to need to get better. Middle linebackers, barely. Other linebackers, barely. My safeties, probably can keep up, but you the way ultimate teams, spend as much money as you can to push and get the best players possible. That's the only way this thing works. That's the only way this thing works. And even on social teams, like right now, this kicker can make a 50-yard field goal to save his life. So I know I need to upgrade there. And that's going to cost a lot as well in coins, which you get coins from playing games. But the real currency you want is Madden points, which you only get those by paying money. And then this is what I got. This is how good my team is, just straight out. I, I may, you know what, I'll do, I'll do it now. I will open the packs to see how much better my team will get made just off of that because that's really how how things work it's all it's all about the money you put into the game and as you can see putting money into the game i'm not going to get but so much better in terms of the players i can get on my team once i buy these packs. because if you see oh two choices of players rated 80 overall that's all that's going to get me is it the money you're putting in is not worth what you're actually getting back out and when you see the ratio of how much a pack costs in terms of Madden points versus in terms of coins, you see that that's 750 Madden points, right? So that's equivalent to about $7.50. And you say, okay, but if you look at how many coins I've gained from doing all of these challenges, and we're talking, what, if I added up maybe near 100 challenges? basically a thousand dollars a challenge at this point it's it's a very big grind and they've made that intentional let's see 30 out of 50 challenges but that's all that's available yeah 30 30 yeah i'll add this up put on the screen myself to say oh how many challenges it took to get this amount of coins because it's, it's not a lot it's not a lot and the challenge only give us so many coins which you really make only by hitting these levels, these milestones. As you can see, that's when you get your bonuses. And even with that, it's not all that great. And so you're going to see that I'll even be having the comparison run of like showing you my team versus what the actual best players in the game look like. And then how you can stack up all of these folks immediately, very quickly, as you're putting money into the game. And that's something I'm not going to do. I'm not putting any more money into this game. I paid the 100 because I wanted to play early. But I was like, huh, let me just take advantage and make a video to like try to convince the rest of you, hey, don't get involved in Ultimate Team. But also, as I'll go into the rest of this video, as they see, like most of us aren't going to play Ultimate Team or put money into Ultimate Team, they're going to move to be like, oh, this game wasn't really a success, yada, yada then try to push it all into playing Madden. I'll get more into that, but right now, I'm going to open this, open these packs to show you how much better my team is going to get just purely. Purely from putting money into the game. Here we go. Bring the Glory Home pack. 
Heisman Hopeful Pack, Alma Mater Pack, Ultimate Alumni Pack, Cover Athlete Pack. All right. The Cover Athlete Pack. Well, give, given how awful my cornerbacks currently are, let me see. Well, this I'm doing the basically a little cheap because it's a what they call a fantasy pack where you get to choose which player you're getting. You get to go back around. Oh, and Travis Hunter is a, a wide receiver. So given how my team is currently looking and I'm a Michigan alum, I'm going to get down of average because, yeah, my next best running back is a set 77-72, 68. With an, another version of Donovan Evers. Yeah, it's... Except for wide receiver. Just this one pack is giving me an improvement at, at two different positions. But I can only pick one. This sort of overall worked out, even though I got Jelani... I got Newton twice, which I'll end up selling one of these cards because they... The cards you do earn, you can't sell for a decent amount because they have bound, cannot trade, cannot sell. So they do make things more difficult than they need to be. And Quinn Ewers is better than, than Pat White, except for in speed. Yeah, better throw accuracy, everything. Yeah, so sit in the pocket. He's a better quarterback. But I'm going down to another words because... I need to improve my running back. And there we go. And then, oh yeah, this ultimate alumni pack this is already one of their things in the game anyway. I only get to pick one kid out of this, one player out of this pack. So let's see. All right. The smartest move right for me right now would probably be to get either Brock Bowers or one of the cornerbacks, which is Quincy Mitchell or Cooper DeJean. But direct comparison, so you can see what's currently out here. They're even they're saying my left tackle is better off playing tight end than my actual second tight end I have on the roster. Which is nuts. But yeah, Brock Bowers an improvement. Jared Verse, I mean, yeah, D-line's already already lucked out on the defensive line, so there's no real problem there. A cornerback. One, two, and then three. That's not even three. Three. Yeah. So as much as I would love to get Brock Bowers, the smartest move for me right now is to add a cornerback to this team. I'm doing all right at middle linebacker, fortunately with Bradley Chubb. And Wilson, so it's it's a don't play this game mode. I'm so serious. With Blake Corn, which I haven't done it over since Blake Corn would bring back some nice memories for me as a Michigan alum with them both in the backfield. But somebody's move right now is for me to get Cooper Dijon. Like you're seeing, like the decisions I'm making to try to build up the team, but nothing. Nothing all that great is actually happening. Alma Mater pack. You know what? I'll just go with the Big Ten pack. Big Ten alum. Let's just see what happens in this package. Let's see what's inside the Big Ten pack. Oh, only one pick. Once again. Here we go. Defensive tackle. They're all 81 overall. I, I know you guys are all hating the sound currently. And so am I. So this is just getting me to 81 overall. So this is all this is trying to do. Uh, I guess outside of cornerback, I would probably need some more safeties. So let's see what we got here. Man coverage is own coverage.
Let's see, there's no, there's a strong safety in Glendon Miller. Yeah, I'm already sort of covered that strong safety. So, yeah, this is going to get me to the 81 fairly quickly. So, I'll just go with the one player from the team in here that I'm an alumni of. So, let's see. A fullback being in here would help a lot. But, we're going to ride more. There we go. See, as much as they marketed this, not not much helpful inside of this pack. These packs so far, really. Eighty-three overall players. All right. Let me see. I would say more than anything, just not even trying to be a homer for Michigan. More than anything, seeing how this game plays. I really need better cornerbacks. The better cornerbacks I can get, the better off I am. Because in coverage, some of this stuff is just pure liabilities. And there we go, Will Johnson is now on, is now on the team. But not, not much has been added to this roster, right? Given what was advertised, and these are just jerseys which all that's gonna do is just show hey you paid extra money so yeah from right from there not too much improvement happened on this team i mean i'll add it in i may go up to 81 overall yep and that's it now you see from there i was able to sure up some places but overall still not all that great but as as I put into this video and show what players are out there available, and you see like you're really just in a race to get to those players, you'll see like, huh, ultimate team with doing everything. This is this is where I'm this is where you're starting it. And oh, here's the other thing. Yes, you're gonna see like the, there's not too many guys really above 85 overall currently. But as things progress, they release new players with higher overalls. And as those overalls increase, you're going to have to keep buying and getting the newer and newer stuff. Which means, you know, let's, let's call it as, it as it is. Kayvon Thibodeau is currently the best player on my team. Within, I would say, within a month's time, he's, he'll probably be obsolete. Like, within a month's time, me having him on my roster would work against me. Even looking at how good his stats are. But no, it's, this game mode is about you have to have the best players. Because their attributes and stats will override your playing ability a lot of the time. And that's what they're going to try to push you in towards. Same thing with NBA 2K. With how they switched the old my career from being like mostly a solo experience to loving up your play. It's like now, hey, you got to play online. And now you got to buy money to make your player better. Because if you, try, if you don't do goes that way it's going to take forever to make him better and that's exactly what you're seeing here in which i guess i could say i don't know if there's anything more for me to do because I, I may or may not spend the rest of this money on packs that i have which isn't really going to give me anything i'm pretty sure it's not going to give me anything let me see here here's the most baseline version of the current thing that's here let's see Two players here, one player there. What is that really getting me? Not much. Not much. And it's seeing my headset batteries low. So maybe 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 that's my sign to wrap this up. And that bore y'all to death. Hopefully you're still watching. But I guess I don't know if there's gonna be another part after this. Or if this is the last part I'm gonna have. But hopefully. I will say if you're watching this and things seem like, oh, he's making sense. Like this doesn't look like something I should do. This doesn't look like I should spend my money on this to like not really get players. Like you're looking at these packs. These are the baseline packs. And like you're seeing like, hey, 
everything being offered to me currently is worth is worth some that I currently have. And you click on the view info and it shows you your percentage chance of getting somebody better. And that's how they lure you in. They show you the percentages, but if you start doing the math, you realize, oh, it takes a decent amount to actually get these players that they want to throw at me. So don't. And also these percentages are just a chance at getting a good player as just one of your cards. Knowing that there's three more cards in this pack that aren't going to be as good as that card. So, hey, you're just sitting here with money to burn. That's all they're trying to make you do. Spend more money on the gambler to keep it going around and around and around to hope you get the player. Because there's no guarantee you're going to get the player you're looking for. And which then they turn you over to the goddamn auction house. And in the auction house, that's where you look for things that you may want. But you'll see very quickly that what you're looking for is not what you're going to get. Because I don't even know what epic or, or legendary mean. Epic. Yeah, now I... that That's just horrible you. I'm trying to press to the right, and it's not doing anything. So here we go. Everybody over 80. Starts to get very high very quickly. So I really wanted to improve my roster. I'm really going to spend all my money on one player, and that's really going to be it. So, you see, it's set up in a very horrible way to make sure, it, like, hey, if you want to win, you're spending a whole bunch of money. And if you see anybody on online or on the subreddit that's complaining about, hey, I'm playing Ultimate Team, it's just not going good for me. And they'll say, oh, I got all the best players. You're going to realize they spent a fuck ton of money. Because this is what I currently have the equivalent of what, let me... I gotta go in here to check. I have the equivalent currently from paying extra to dollars I have the equivalent of what? Yeah. Basically forty dollars sitting in here. And you see with forty dollars looking from looking through these packs, not gonna give me a lot. It's really not gonna give me a lot. Even this the the rare platinum. Ooh. Nothing. Nothing. So you see in yeah, if somebody's online bragging about, yeah, they got best team, yada, 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 just know they spend a fuck ton of money. And that's what they're trying to push for. I, I know part of my rent is going to be posting up the numbers. The numbers. I don't know where I'm going to put it at for this rent that's going to be about college football. Seems like a ploy to convert everybody over to Madden to eventually get them into mud. But the numbers will be up there. 75% of their revenue now is just through live service shit. It's not specific to Madden. It's just EA is a whole monster. But I digress. I'm going to end this part of the video. Hopefully, the next part of the video I have the shit, and then I'm just going off on it.